So today we're going to talk about flat backing or also just known as backing. It's something that you do when you're using a very sheer lightweight fabric. You might use it when using a silk or a organza, a very sheer cotton, anything that you might want to add some stability to as well as some thickness so that it's not as sheer. Um, so that it has a little bit more weight. And what I'm backing today is very sheer, lightweight cotton eyelet. And because I'm using this cotton, I am backing it with a linen cotton blend. I could back it with just a straight cotton. I just happen to like the linen cotton blend. And it's something I have, so it's, I'm using it from my stash. Always look in your fabric stash for usable fabrics before you purchase more fabrics. That way you don't feel like you're just buying fabric and you actually will use your products more. But there's a couple different ways you can do this. So like I said, you would do this if you were using a silk, if you were using a chiffon. And what you would use as your backing would be different. If you were using a chiffon, you might be backing with a silk organza just to add stability, not to make it more opaque. And in that case, I would recommend stitching it by hand for your basting. Um, I, however, because I am using a cotton fabric, I'm going to use my machine and just stitch a quarter inch from the edge so that I'm still in that seam allowance. It also is nice because on this cotton, it's going to help aid as a bit of a seam finish and keep it from raveling at all. So what I've done is I have cut out all my pieces. You cut out all your pieces double. So I cut it out in your backing and in your top fashion fabric as well because you need to have the same pieces. I have gone ahead and done my markings on both pieces you can, however, just do them on one. That's completely fine. If you are using tailor tacks, you want to just mark it as one unit. Do all your markings. If, because you will get threads caught between the two layers and you don't want that. So in that case, you do want to mark it after it's all created as one piece. So again, you're just going to stitch. like so and anywhere from an eighth of an inch to a quarter inch is a nice way to stitch this it really is just enough stitching and, and in depth so that it holds the two pieces together and treats it as one but it's not actually adding any of your stitch markings. This is not a seam per se. So as you can see, I've just stitched there. I'm going to go ahead and stitch the others and then I'll show you what it's like and show you how to treat with it. Okay, so now that I have stitched my backing or underlining as it's sometimes called, not to be confused with your actual lining, an underlining or flat backing does not replace an actual lining. It is just adding stability and a bit of weight to that fashion fabric. So I can now, undo the pins where I have it held together and it is now completely treated as one fabric. So it's now just as if I have a right side and a wrong side of my fabric. So my right side is my eyelet and my wrong side is my plane. And so I will just go ahead and treat it as one unit and you will just Follow for this pattern that I'm doing, it has the back dart, and this is the back piece that I'm working on. And I'll just 
show you how this is treated now as one cohesive fabric and it adds a little bit of weight so it will add some bulk so it really is important depending on the kind of fabric that you are wanting to back that you use the appropriate backing fabric a cotton is not appropriate for everything however a chiffon is also not appropriate for everything it will just determine based on what your external fashion fabric is on what will be the right backing a lot of times patterns will tell you if it's calling for a a flat backing or sometimes referred to as an underlining it will tell you what kind of fabric you need to use for that and it is important that you do follow these guidelines of fabric because that's what the drape of the garment is designed for so if you change it you will get a different look and that's fine just be prepared to and understand that you won't have that same effect so you see I have just gone ahead and pinned in my darts through all thicknesses and now I just treat this as one fabric and I will do the same for my front I have it all pinned and ready to go and then it has a cutout dart and again you just will treat that as it's one solid piece not as two separate pieces so I won't be doing a lining with it and then the fashion fabric I'll be treating this as one it's the underlining however if I was going to be lining this I would then do it again and put them together remember an underlining does not replace a regular lining and they are different that underlining is to add some stability and thickness as well as to kind of create a little bit of opaqueness so I hope that that helps you if you're not sure about flat backing or underlining have a great day